Hello, people. How are you today? How's everything so far? No sé si me escuchan. Hello, Salvador. Ah, uh, hello, Herbert. Listen, How are I you? I listen to you. My fine, ah, thanks. Okay, thank you. Thank you so much. Okay, so... Uh, You're welcome. Okay, thank you. Thank you so much. I'm going to share... Uh, vamos a tratar de avanzar rapidito porque para... Uh, with the generalities, we are going to try to uh, go with the agenda, generalities, and the other things. Just give me a second. It's charging. Okay. So, so today is for a, for yesterday's class, right? So it was about yesterday's class because we couldn't have it yesterday, so today. Okay, yes. here we go. How are you? Everything good? Everything is good, yes. I was a little tired okay. due to my job, job but uh, I'm here. <laughs> okay, so and what do you do? Uh, I work in a forensic ambit. I guess uh, uh, the forensic, that, but yes, forensic. forensic. Ah, okay. Forense is coroner. 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 Ah, okay. Se parece a coronel ahora que lo pienso, pero no es. Yeah. Cor <laughs> coronel is coronel, but it's coroner. Uh, coroner. Coroner. Yes, coroner. coroner. Yes. Okay, that's nice. Sir, yeah, you, you just do service to the justice. Ah, okay. That's nice. That's very good. So you are not afraid about, about the blood? Sobre la sangre, you are not afraid about the blood. Ah, no, no, about the blood, about the urine. I don't, I don't afraid. Okay, okay. So it's part of my job. <laughs> okay, yeah, it's part of your job. Okay, it's difficult. Well, I mean, for me, it would be difficult. I think the blood to open the body. Well, <laughs> I, I don't do that because it, it makes, but I'm a doctor. Ah, okay. Ah, okay. That's nice. See, that's nice, but uh, sometimes I need to. You know what? Explain that because mm, uh -huh. when I work, when I tell mm -hmm. I work as a coroner, mm -hmm. it doesn't mean that I am a, a medicine. I'm a guy, not not doctor. Ah, okay. English is a medicine. The grade of the person who works in in a deep area of health is uh -huh. not doctor. Uh -huh. You know, PhD means philosophy doctor. Medical, physician. Uh -huh. physician or medical, a physician, right? Okay, a physician, yes, that, that's true. Thanks, Salvador. Uh, thank learned, you. <laughs> thank I you. I'm learning vocabulary with you. A new vocabulary. Uh, thank you. Okay, thank you. That's the problem oh. in this case. <laughs> ah, okay, so it's okay. So, uh, welcome to the online English program. Today is the session number four, intermediate module number one, November 3rd, 2023, right? Okay, so right. here we go. Okay, general information. So uh, the schedule is from Monday to Thursday from eight to nine o'clock, right? Sharp. Right. Okay, excellent, very good. Okay, the agenda. So the for the, the fourth day, November 3rd, 2023. The greeting, welcome, general instructions at eight o'clock. A review, warm up letters and attendance, snapshot, conversation, grammar focus, vocabulary, platform exercises, a simple pass, feedback, closing, and five minutes for advices. Okay, <clears throat> so <clears throat> we're gonna continue. Uh, we're gonna move to the manual. Okay, so what do you remember about the last class? Ah, no vimos eh, los objetivos. Se me olvidó presentar los objetivos. <laughs> okay, give me a second. Don't worry, don't worry. It's a part of the human being. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so the objectives for today, these ones are the Oops, the general one, the general objective and the specific objectives. And what we are doing today is participants will be able to identify simple past activities and ask and answer some personal questions about past. Participants will be able to complete listening exercise, read and practice a created conversation based in the model, repeat some vocabulary expressions, complete some exercise in the platform and feedback, giving information about homework assigned. Okay, we see. Vamos a movernos al libro suyo, que es no este que está aquí. Ah, bueno, solo les quería mostrar about the regular verbs. Now, in the regular verbs, so the regular verbs are the verbs that end in, in ed, right? Eh, mm -hmm. A veces tenemos la tendencia de decirlos todos, started, ended, mm -hmm. y no se pronuncian así. La ed, mm -hmm. 
tiene, esta ED tiene tres pronunciaciones diferentes, ¿verdad? Para los verbos regulares. Estas reglas son solamente para los verbos regulares. Que ya, ya le voy a mandar la imagen ahorita y al grupo de WhatsApp. So I'm going to send you the, the, the picture I, to the WhatsApp group. Uh, so okay. this, EV, yes? Thanks. Sí? You're welcome, anytime. Okay, so this EV so has three pronunciations, as ir, as do, y as t. Okay, for example, you have a letter T, started, started, started. ended, 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 right? Porque la ED mm -hmm. se pronuncia como ir. ¿Por qué? Porque este verbo termina en T. Start, started. Entonces, como cuando el verbo termina en esta letra T, ven la mano. Can you see the hand? Mm -hmm. Yes. Hands? Ok. So, start, started. Porque termina en T, la ED se pronuncia como ir, started. Ended, eh, como termina en D, es ended, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. Ok. Eh, para la ID, para esta, esta ED se pronuncia como ID, para esta pronunciación de ID, Solamente están estas dos letras, que el verbo termine en T o que el verbo termine en D. Y la ED se va a pronunciar como ID, started, ended, y hay más verbos, ¿verdad? La otra regla es que la ED, esta ED, se pronuncia como una, una T extra. Todo el verbo, que, todo verbo regular que termine, que termine en P, letter P, letter, letter K, letter WS, SH, CH, GH, F, C, or X, the ED va a sonar como una letra T. Por ejemplo, este jump, en pre present es jump, pero en pasado sería jumped, jumped, no jumped, ¿verdad? Porque a veces tendemos a decirlo jumped, jumped, pero no es jumped, es jumped, jumped, en pasado. En presente jump y en pasado es jumped. ¿Por qué se pronuncia la ED como una T? Porque el verbo termina en P. Por eso, ¿verdad? Por ejemplo, walk en presente, walk in present, walk. In past, walked, walked, walked. Esta imagen ya la tienen en el WhatsApp, ¿ok? Walk, walked. Entonces, es, esta ED se pronuncia como una extra letra T, porque el verbo termina en K. Y todos los verbos terminados en K, la, y si son regulares, la ED se va a pronunciar como una T. Walk, walked. Miss. Missed. Extrañar o perder, ¿verdad? Miss, missed. Doble. Los verbos terminados en S, cuando se les agrega la ED, si es verbo regular, esa ED se va a pronunciar como una extra T. Miss, missed, missed. Tiene finish, finished, finish, finished. No se dice finished, ¿verdad? Porque a veces tendemos a decir la ED así pronunciarla como ED. Por ejemplo, decimos ended, finished, y no. Esta ED tiene tres, estas tres, estas tres pronunciaciones. Los verbos que terminan en TED, como ir, y los verbos que terminan en todas estas letras, como una extra T, ¿verdad? Walk, walked. Y ahí tenemos, por ejemplo... Pincero negro y lo acabo de usar. Ok, tenemos, por ejemplo, finish, tenemos finished, ¿verdad? Lo vamos a pronunciar como una extra... Una extra letra T allí. Entonces, eh, porque <coughs> tenemos allí que termina en SH, ¿verdad? Finish, finished, finished, no finished, ¿verdad? Aquí, por ejemplo, no decimos watch it, sino que decimos watch, watch, ¿verdad? Watch, 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 porque termina en SH. Y así, esto es igual, ¿verdad? Laughed, laughed. Sniffed, sliced, mixed, ¿verdad? Y eh, si usted se aprende estas letras, T, D, y se aprende que estas T, D se pronuncia I, y los verbos que terminan en estas letras, P, K, S, W, S, S, H, C, H, G, H, F, C, X, so if you learn these letters, so you are, go, you are going to know that uh, this one, the pronunciation of the E, D, is going to be as a letter T. Y si usted se aprenda esta y esta, lo demás, el resto de las letras sería esta de aquí, de en medio, ¿verdad? Si el verbo termina en B, por ejemplo, grab, la ED se va a pronunciar como una T extra. Grab, grabbed. Grab, grabbed. Hug, hugged. Claim, claim. No es claimed, ¿verdad? No es claimed. Es claim, 
claimed. Como una, una, como que si fuera esta ED, como que si fuera solamente una D. Planned, planned. Referred, referred. Move, moved. Show, showed. Play, played. Buzz, buzzed. ¿Verdad? Play, played. No es, no es played, ¿verdad? Y tampoco no es played, sino que es como una D. Played. Move. Ok, move termina en una E, ¿verdad? Pero como la E es muda, no le vamos a hacer caso a la E. Todo verbo que termine en una E, no se, no se le da caso a la E porque la E es muda. Es mute, right? So, eh, nos tenemos que fijar en la letra que va antes. So, the letter V. Entonces, como no decimos move, sino que decimos move, nos fijamos en la V y todo verbo regular que termine en V, la E de se va a pensar como de mood, mood. Ok, do you have any questions so far? Any question or no questions? No, it's ok. No okay. questions. Creo que eso ya lo habían visto. No ¿verdad? questions. Ok, so it's ok. So we're going to continue with the manual porque tenemos varias cosas que hacer. <clears throat> Here we go. So in your manual, quiero ver, quiero ver. Déjenme ver si está otro. Ah, oh, no. Ok. So, here we go. Aquí vamos. Ok. So, in your manual. So, we were... Mm -hmm. Ok. Give me a second. <laughs> ok. Nos habíamos quedado aquí, ¿verdad? About pets, hobbies, places, possessions. Yes. Now, so, uh, we already finished. I remember that we finished this word power about... Well, in your in your manual, it, it appears like a orange. I remember that it's like a orange, right? It's like this. Yes, like this. Yes, it's different. It's another. I remember that page. <laughs> okay. Okay. Excellent. Very good. So you have a, this conversation. So in this conversation, uh, so let me see. Mm -hmm. Can you see it very well? Yeah. Yes. yes. Okay. Yes, I do. Okay. Excellent. Hey, are these pictures of you when you were a kid? Yeah, that's me in front of my uh, uncle's, uncle's beach, house. beach house. When I was a kid, we used to spend two weeks there every summer. There every summer. Wow, I bet that was fun. Yeah, we always had a great time. We always had a great time. Every day, we used to get up early and walk along the beach. I had a great shell collection, in fact. In fact, I think it's still up in the attic. Hey, I used to collect shells, too, when I was a kid, but my parents threw them out. Okay, do you have any question with vocabulary or pronunciation? ¿Tiene preguntas con el vocabulario o la pronunciación? Pues, let me see. Yes. No. Shells, what is the meaning of shells? Where do you where do you find shells? Shells? Como conchas. La caparazón de la concha. Yes, exactly, right? Those are shells. Uh -huh. Shells. Yes, shells. Now here the pronunciation is, let me Throwing see. Throwing out is botar. Yes. Through, throw out. Throw out is to throw, throw. Um, mm -hmm. I throw out the garbage. I throw out the garbage. I throw yeah. all um, in the past of throw is through, through out. Mm -hmm. uh -huh, yes, throw, mm -hmm. through. Um, in fact, de hecho, en realidad, right? De hecho, Arik. The pronunciation mm -hmm. is Arik. Okay, let me see. Arik. Uh -huh. Yes, when I, uh, la N se une con la, con la, con la que con la with I so pero quiero resaltar mm -hmm. okay so you have a when I mm -hmm. when I aquí se une when I mm -hmm. was esta se pronuncia como una como una Z when I was a kid we used to spend kid. two weeks mm -hmm. we used to spend two weeks every every every, every, every right every every summer um, I was, como una seta, I was, it, uh, I bet that was fun. Yeah, we always had a great time. Esta de, porque está entre las dos vocales, A como una R. 
We had a great time. We had a... Yes, We por eso a... la T de get up, como una R, ¿verdad? Get up. Ah, get up. Get up. Uh, get up. Get, get up. Uh, eh, aquí también está la D entre dos vocales. I had a great had shell a... collection. I, I had, had a... I had a great shell collection. Shell right? collection. Yes, shell collection, had a great yes. time. Get up. I had a great shell collection. And I was a kid. Esta es como una set. I was a kid. So My parents threw them out. Okay, so I we are going to have breakup rooms. Vamos a tener breakup rooms. Uh, how many are you right now? 13. Vamos a ver, vamos a crear um, five, five breakup rooms. Okay, just give okay. me a second. You are going to receive the invitation for joint. And uh, vamos a ver, aquí me quedaron. Okay, Jenny Akane, I'm going to move you to the room number five. And Silvia Carolina Barrientos, I'm going to move you to the room number four. Okay, three, three, three. Okay. So I don't know if you can see the square, but I, I am rearranged. Okay, <laughs> here we go. So let me see. I don't know if we can stay. Aquí tengo uno de dos. Oh, no, no, no. Blanca Esmeralda, are you here? Hello, Blanca. Hello, Blanca. Brian Salvin. ¿Es Salvin o Salvin? Brian. Y Salvin. Salvin. Ok, Brian Salvin se queda. No mm. se va a ir al break room. Silvia Carolina. Hello, Silvia. Yes, Icha. Ok, stay here, Silvia, please. No, okay. don't, go, don't go to the break room. Stay here. Ok. okay. Hey, Blanca Esmeralda, are you here or no? Hello, Blanca. Yes, Hello. teacher. Okay, ah, pues, stay here. Uh, no, la voy a mover al break, al, al room number five. Ahí con, con Jenny Akane, okay? So you have, uh, right now, okay? You have, uh, I have opened uh, the breakup room. So join, please. Join to the breakup room and practice this conversation. Si hay alguien que la puede proyectar, pues la proyecta. Si no, in your WhatsApp groups, you have the conversation. You're going to practice the conversation That is in your WhatsApp rooms, okay? Eh, vamos a ver, Silvia, can you be Kim? Y quiero ver, y Brian Salvin, can you be Jeff right now? Please. Okay. Okay. Um, hey, uh, give me a second. Sure. I, I can't, well, I can see. Bueno, vamos a ver aquí. Esto. Lado más grande. No, 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 no. Aquí tengo que cerrar un diálogo que tengo que. <laughs> hey, are these pictures of you when you were a kid? Yeah, that's me in front of, of my uncle's beach mm -hmm. house. When I was a kid, we used to spend two weeks there every summer. Well, I bet that was fun. Yeah, we always had a great time. Every day we used to get up early and walk along the beach. I had a great shell collection. I'm fine, I think it's still up in the attic. Hey, I used to collect chair too when I was a kid, but my parents threw them out. Okay, so do you have any question with pronunciation? Or with the vocabulary? Mm, what means shelves? Okay, shelves is a synonym for uh, oyster. It's a synonym for, um, so when you go to the sea, when you go to the beach, when you go to the Cook Beach, sometimes you have a sort of shelves that are, they are different colors. Uh, I, I can project a picture if you want. Uh, for example, um, shells it's also you have. Sorry, it's beautiful like a fish, like a, a shrimp. Uh huh. Yes. Uh huh. Similar to a shrimp, similar to oysters, oysters that you eat. So the oysters you eat, right? And the oysters you have a, a the sharp a shell, and that is that is similar to a shell. Uh, also, the shell is like, a, for example, when you go to the to the to the Liberty Harbor, to El Puerto de la Libertad, you can see different decorations with the shells. Also, you can see some different colors. 
uh, collars, uh, necklace with the with with those shells. Also, maybe sometimes they make turtles with the with con las conchas ellos hacen tortugas, verdad? So okay. conchas. Mm -hmm. So it's concha. Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. No. Uh, yes. Yes. It's concha. Uh, hay alguien más, verdad? Aquí, verdad? Okay. Um, Silvia, Carolina, Brian, Selmin, Katia, Esther, and Carlota. Can you practice the conversation? Hello, Carlota. Okay. Ah, Car Carlota, ah. eh, Carlota is Jeff. Carlota is going to start. And, ¿Y quién era la otra persona? Eh, Brian. Uh -huh. Hi, teacher. Hi, okay. Carlota en and... other person. Permítame. Carlota en and... eh, no, Clarice, no. Carlos, who's the other person? <laughs> give me a second, give me a second. Okay, Carlota and Katia. Katy. Katy is yeah. there. Okay, Katy is gonna be Kim. Katy is Kim. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's hey, are you this picture of you when you were a kid? Yeah, that me the front of the uncle's beach house. When I was a kid, we used to spend two week there every summer. Whoa, I bet that has fun. Yeah, we always had a great time. Every day we used to get, get up early and walk along the beach. I have a great shells collection. In fact, I think it is still up in the um, attic. attic. Uh, attic. Thank you. Attic. attic. Mm -hmm. Hey, I used to collect shells too when I was a kid, but my parents turned them out. Uh -huh. Yes, my parents, parents, right? Parents. My parents threw them out. Ah, la M se puede venir con la out, mouth, mouth. Threw them out. Threw them out. Excellent, right? Okay, but la U de, la U de but es como una A, ah, ¿verdad? La U de but es como una A. Ah. It's like a letter, like a letter, like a letter A, right? But. Y quiero ver, ah, este. We have the letter T, WT. We have the WT, este, this WT between two vowels. So that's why we can pronounce this as a letter R. So we, we can say attic and it's okay. Attic is okay. But the American people, they say attic, right? They say attic. Sometimes when they pronounce, when use the contraction, when they use the reductions, when they use the short answer or short forms. So that's why we don't recognize the words. We don't recognize the sentence because they are using a lot of contraction or they are using those kind of reductions. Uh, okay, so what else? Let's see what else. Mm, yeah, only that, right? So uh, was, right? Remember, it's like a letter C, was. Uh, we always had a great time. Had a great time to get up, to get up early. I had a great shell collection, right? As a letter, this one, as a letter, as a letter R, and also right. here, attic. If you pronounce this attic, it's okay, right? Si lo dice attic, está bien. Pero los americanos dicen attic. Attic, okay? Uh, yes. British Thank language you. is attic. Uh -huh. Attic. Attic or attic. Mm? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so also, it, aquí como le decía la compañera, from uh, my parents, pe parents, no parents, right? My parents, my parents, mm -hmm. como que se va a decir la, pero termina siendo casi una... Una E, no es una E pura. My parents mm. threw them out. La M se une con la out, mouth, threw them out. Mm -hmm. okay. okay. Thank you. Uh, so we have a the used to, que medio lo vimos la vez pasada, ¿verdad? So used, used to, to, solía, ¿verdad? I mm -hmm. used to, for example, I used to fly a kite. This is a kite. Can you see the kite? Yes. <laughs> kite? No kite, right? The kite. This is the kite. Okay. Thanks so for I, explanation. <laughs> okay. This guy, the kite, right? This is, I used to fly. I used to fly the a kite. Used to. Okay. Can you help me to read, please? Me ayuda, Herbert. Aquí. Lo voy a hacer más grande. Permítame. Okay. Here. Here. This information. About used to refers to this. Oh, where? I used to collect shells. I used to. 
donde dice something that aquí, lo de ver. Ah, ya, yeah, no, no, I understand. I use it to refers to something that you regularly, regularly, I don't know, regularly did in the past but don't do anymore. No, aparece en el lugar. Okay, excellent, very good. Okay, so something that you regularly did in the past but no anymore, no anymore. For example, I used to fly a kite. Yo solía volar una piscucha, pero ya no más, ¿verdad? Okay, so, uh, the other example. Can you help me to read the other example? Vamos a ver quién. Can you help me to read the other example? Uh, no sé si Edwin Oswaldo me ayuda. Please, here, in this one. Yes, of course. Uh, uh, what, is, what is that? In this one, este que estoy marcando. Okay, when I was a kid, we used to stay at my uncle's beach house. Okay, excellent, right? My uncle's beach house, right? Now, the next question, Jennifer, no quiero ver. Jenny Akane, no sé si me ayuda a leer la, this question, please. Yes, teacher. Did okay. you use to have a hobby? Yes. And the answer también, the answer, please. Okay. Yes, you said to collect shells. I used to, I used to collect shells. I used to collect used shells. To collect shells. I used. Uh -huh, excellent. Very good. Uh, Silvia Carolina, can you help me with this question? Vaya. Eh, lo que pasa que le mandaron un informe para que se le se uh -huh. Yes, Silvia Carolina, can you help me to, to read to read this question, please? What game did you use to play? Excellent. I used Engl to play chess. Mm -hmm. Excellent, right? What is the meaning of chess? Damas. Chess. Uh, ¿Ajedrez? Ajedrez. So you game have the board. king, king, the queen, uh-huh. Ajedrez. The game board. Uh -huh. It's a synonym for ajedrez. game board. Excellent, very good. It's a synonym for game board. Now, so uh, continue with the simple past. When you use used to, si utilizamos used to en la pregunta, ya no se le agrega la de, porque estamos utilizando el auxiliar did, ¿verdad? Vuelve a su forma base el, 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 el used to, ¿ok? El used uh, eh, vuelve a su forma base, ¿verdad? Ya no es used, sino que used. Nice. Did you used to have a hobby? Cuando usamos el did, ya no le agregamos la de aquí, ¿verdad? Igual en la negativa. No le agregamos la D por el auxiliar did it. I didn't used to, yo no solía, I didn't used to fly a kite. Yo no solía volar una piscucha. Pero en todas oraciones positivas, todas las oraciones afirmativas, si utilizamos el, ¿cómo se llama? El used to, miren. Ajá, this one, this one is a positive uh, question. I used to collect shells. El siguiente verbo que va después del used to, nunca se le va a agregar nada. Nunca se le va a agregar es, s, ing, nada. Ni ed, ni lo va a poner en pasado, ¿verdad? Porque dice, yo solía coleccionar eh, conchas. Entonces, cuando usamos el used to, when you use the used to uh, a word, phrase, so you, you have to use the verb in base form, no in past. Because okay. the used to is already in past. But when it's a question... So you have to, you don't have to add be to used to, right? Okay, it's clear? Okay, very good. Okay, yes, okay. yes teacher. It. Okay, very good. Okay, teacher, Excellent. okay. Uh, I used to play Thanks. chess, for example, right? And here, uh, for example, in elementary school, I used to, what do you used to do in at elementary school? Play cars, play soccer, play basketball. Okay, when I was a kid, I used to play Cuando era niño, when I was a kid, mm. I used to play. After school, my best, my best friend and I used to take the bus. Used to mm. something, right? Okay, can you okay. can you think? I'm gonna give you in one minute to think about one example, only one, only one okay. example, and you're gonna tell me your example. Okay, about this, using one of these, using only one of these, you are gonna complete with your personal example. With your personal example, complete only one, or number one, or number two, or number three, or number four, about you, about you, your personal example. I'm going to give you one minute. Le voy a dar un minuto para que piensen uno. Okay. okay. Can you see the picture? It's not blurry. 
En esta borrosa. It's not blurry. No, no it's no, good. It isn't. Okay. okay. That's good. So, for example, here, can you see that the boys are collecting or are playing cards? I think, yes. right? Cards. Yes. Playing cards. Mm -hmm. Or you can tell me a personal a personal sentence using used to. For example, you can tell me, I used to play marbles. Marbles? What is the meaning of marbles? Ibola. Mm -hmm. Yes, right? <laughs> marbles, right? Okay. Marbles. I want to write it here. Quiero ver si lo puedo escribir aquí, marbles. Ah, quiero ver aquí. Do it. I, I can see that. Uh, the marbles. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, okay. that's good. Okay, let me do type here. Okay. okay, marbles is like this. Marbles. How about it's in green? Okay, marbles, mm. uh, chivolas. Marbles. Marbles. Yes, marbles. Yes. Also, that's I used good. to, for example, I used to play here, you can say, my first school, my friend and, uh, and I, I used to play, I used to play a, a tag, tag en mica, o también se puede decir, catch me, catch me if you can. If you catch can. me if you can. Yes, wow. like the movie. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. Or a like song. The, uh -huh, or a song, oops, or a song, There right? A song. Yes. There is a song using that expression. Catch really? me if you can. Mm. Ah, okay. Yes. <laughs> so, for example, after school, my best friend and I, and I, after school, my best friend and I used to play tag or used to play catch me if you can or used to play marbles or used to fly a oh. kite, used to collect something, right? So, vamos a ver, eh, some examples. Okay. No sé si Liana, Elizabeth. No sé si nos da un ejemplo, Ileana, please. Es completando estas oraciones que tienen aquí, ¿verdad? Uno, cualquiera de estas oraciones o sus oraciones personales. Uh -huh. mm. For example, you can use, I used to play soldiers. Yo solía jugar soldad, soldados. I used to play... Mm. Eh, I used to play uh -huh. eh, soccer. Soccer, excellent, Bryce. <laughs> okay, very good. Mm -hmm. Silvia, Carolina, no sé si, can you give us an example, please? Number four. Uh -huh. After school, my best friend and I used to play basketball and court near mm -hmm. my school. Excellent, very good. Okay, excellent. That's nice. Glenda, I don't know if you can give us an example. Mm -hmm. uh, when I was a kid, I used to play tic tac toe with my best friend. Ah, yes, tic tac toe. Mm -hmm. How do you say? And I love to huh? to play hide and seek with ah, yes. my hide, brother. Hide and seek. It's condelero, right? <laughs> hide and seek. Hide and yes, hide and seek. <laughs> hide and seek. Oh, tic tac toe x zero. Okay. Uh, Herbert, I don't know if you want to give us an example. Number one. Okay. In, in elementary school. I used to eat mango. Ah, okay. I used to eat mango. Okay, that's nice. Very good. Okay, with chili pepper on chili. <laughs> yes. No. Okay. No more okay. chili. <laughs> ah, okay. No more. <laughs> okay, that's nice for the colon, for the gastritis, gastritis. Yes. <laughs> okay, that's nice. So, uh, Edwin, I don't know if you want. You can give us an example, please. Yeah, of course. When I was a kid, I used to swim. Swim. In the river. Okay. Oh, really? ah, okay. That's nice. Very good. Nice. Did you used to live in near the near a river? Did yes, you... of course. Uh, I I live near to the well. Well, uh -huh. I I live in the country. In the ah, countryside, okay. so uh, there is a kind of forest, and that uh, was very very nice uh, experience. Ah, okay. Okay, thank you, Edwin. Yes, countryside, in Las Afuera, Las Afuera de la Ciudad, countryside. Okay, and another example, can you give me another example? Um, volunteer to give me another example? Mm. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, hello, or we can pass to the other activity. Yes? Me, teacher. Okay, está bien. I, I used to be faster in whatever activity. 
but I am not anymore. Okay, it's okay. It's okay. It's for every of us. <laughs> okay. Somebody else? Alguien más? Or we can pass to the other activity. Let's move Next. on. Next, Next activity. activity. Okay, it's okay. So, so you have this pronunciation, right? Pronunciation of used to. This one is about your manners, right? So when I, yes. I was a child, remember child, not chill, right? When I was a child, child. I mm. used to play the violin. The violin. Mm. I used wow. to have a nickname. I used mm -hmm. to have a pet. pet. I used to play high and sick. High and, high and sick, sick is right? High and high, sick. Yes. High and sick. Glenda says. Ah, yes. As Glenda says, right? Excellent. Very good. I want to this one. Okay. High and sick. Very good. Okay, what is so, the mean nickname? Nickname is, for example, for Manuel Manu. For... Mm -hmm. uh, for... Um, Teresa Tessa, uh, for mm. Ricardo Richard, uh, also Patricia Patti. Patricia Patti, right? For Patricia, mm. for you have a Patti. 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 Yeah. Yes, okay. So, no more questions about this? No, no, no. Ah, okay, so here we have the unit number two. In the unit number two, we have a calf in the rush. Calf in, in the, the rush. rush. For example, calf in the traffic, right? When you rush, is a name for fast for go fast for run okay now here you have the word power compound nouns so you are going to match the words in columns a i'm going to larger it so you have a, for example a bicycle line so you have a bicycle mm -hmm. line so you have a, a also a taxi stand a taxi stand so you have a also a, so you're going to match the compound nouns this one, the compound nouns are when you have a two, when you have two words, for example, compound nouns. You have a two words for the mm. compound nouns. For example, bicycle lane, taxi stand. Mm. stand. And so um, you're gonna tell me, you're going to match, uh, give me a second. You're going to match this one from the column bus A. Bus stop. Uh -huh, bus uh -huh. stop, uh -huh, bus uh -huh. stop. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Subway station, for example, this one. Subway station. Mm -hmm. Another one? Traffic light. Mm -hmm. Traffic light. Excellent. Yeah. Very good. Traffic light. Okay. Another one? Presentation. Light. Mm -hmm. Train a station. Train a station. Train. Oops. A station. Yes. Excellent. Very good. Train a station. Uh -huh. Another one? Sorry for the noise. So when bicycle is... lane. Uh huh. So what? Bicycle. bicycle. Okay, bicycle. Let's say mark esta cosa. Bicycle <laughs> lane. Uh huh. Lane. Uh huh. Bicycle lane. Uh huh. What else? Lane. Bicycle lane. Uh huh. Lane. Uh -huh. What else? Traffic jam. No, sorry. What? Subway so uh -huh. system. Okay, oops. Subway. Subway. Subway system. Okay, stream. Okay, parking system. Okay, news. Okay, uh, subway system. Espera, me quiero ver. Que no. Que raste. Okay. Ah, uh, taxi stand, right? Taxi stand. Parking garage. Parking garage. Yes, parking garage. News stand, right? News stand no, is with this. Stand. Yes, yeah. news stand. Parking garage, yes. Uh, in a street? Jam. Maybe? Street jam, yes. Yes, exactly. A street jam. jam. Yes, a street jam is a synonym for traffic. A street jam mm -hmm. is a synonym for traffic. Okay, so uh, over there you have it, right? Very good. Okay, so we're going to move okay. to this one. Expressions of quantity, right? Expressions de cantidad. Mm -hmm. Let me see in your manual if you have the same. Ah, you have a conversation. Pero no vamos a pasar a los adverbs of quantity, right? Okay, okay. here you have a con nouns and non noun con nouns, right? 
Um, so I think you already uh, have seen, have studied before this topic about the countable nouns, the count nouns, and the noun count nouns. Creo que ya lo habían estudiado, ¿verdad? Contables, incontables. Yes. Okay, ex examples for uncountable nouns. Can you give me examples for uncountable nouns? Pollution, hair, pollution, water, pen, huh? pen. Uh -huh. money, huh? money. Okay, excellent. Money, uh -huh. right? Mm -hmm. So, money. Uh, what about rice? Is countable or uncountable? Salt, pepper. Uncountable. Uncountable, right? Salt, milk. pepper, mm -hmm. milk, coffee. Okay. Coffee. What Oil. about what about a bottle of milk? Countable or uncountable? Bottle of countable. milk. Countable. Countable, right? Countable, countable because you can use number, cardinal numbers. Ah yes. When you use uh, the, the bottles. Uh -huh, the bottles, bottles. Yes. one bottle, bottles. two bottles, three bottles, bottles. Yes. four bottles. Okay, can you help me to read this example, please? Uh, the first example, the first example, Herbert, there are too many? Too many. There are too many cars. Okay, the other example, Glenda Carolina. Mm -hmm. uh, there should be fewer cars. Excellent. Uh, my dog was... was uh, barking, that's the reason why I mute myself. Okay, Brian Salvin, <laughs> can you help me with this? Brian Salvin? Hey, yeah, yeah. We need more sideways lines. Excellent, very good. Jennifer Stephanie, can you help me with the last example? Yes. There aren't enough bus buses. Uh -huh. Yes, there aren't enough, enough buses. Okay, can you help me? Enough. Silvia Carolina with the first example for noun come nouns. There is too much traffic. Okay, the next example, please, Juan Jose Carpio. There should be light pollution. Okay, Katia Esther, can you help me with the other example? There should be less. There should be less. Pollution. Pollution. Excellent. Very good. Mm -hmm. Carlota, can you help me with the next one? We need more public. We need more public transportation. Transportation. Excellent. Very good. And the last example, Anastasia Edwin Osvaldo, are you available to tell us? Hello, Edwin Osvaldo. Can you help us with the last example? Uh, the last example? Yes. There isn't enough parking. Uh -huh. There isn't enough parking, right? There isn't enough parking. Okay, so this one, this exercise about countables or uncountables. There are about mm -hmm. countables or uncountables is going to be a homework for the next uh, Monday. This one, this part. Déjeme ver si... Okay. So, puedo hacerlo un poco más. Okay, this one. These two parts. Okay, so... This one, this one, this. Complete these statements about transportation problems. Then compare with a partner. Okay, so the more than one answer may be possible. Let me see if you have the same in, the, in your manual. Quiero ver si tiene lo mismo en el manual. I guess, yes. Yes, right. It must be the same. So this is the page number nine. On page number nine, you're going to have this homework. Okay, just give me a second. Okay. I'm gonna take a picture. I'm gonna take a picture about this from, okay, from eight to nine. Homework, right? This is going to be the homework. Voy a tratar de mandárselo lo más nítido que pueda. Here we go. Okay, homework on page, homework on page nine, nine. for Monday, for Monday. O oh, si también si tienen tiempo para avanzar este, ¿cómo se llama? En otro ejercicio platform. del platform, so you can go ahead, right? You can go ahead. Okay, so we're going to move to the platform. Ah, pero quería ver aquí el otro. Give me a second. Quiero ver. Okay, so we have a, this, no, the no, grammar no. focus about and I read questions from WH questions. Let me see if mm -hmm. tal vez se ve un poco más. Okay, so we have a here, Oops. and I read questions 
Good. And WH question, right? So you have, we have a, this one is like a, a simple statement. See, this one is mm -hmm. like a, a normal statement, normal sentences, right? WH mm -hmm. question with, with B, with the verb to be. Where is the nearest ATM? Where is the nearest mm -hmm. ATM? ATM? Where are the restaurants, right? You have to use the okay. verb to be. So it's simple. Uh, green. We have to use the <clears throat> the verb to be. Also, you have uh, here the verb is and are, right? That's it. Okay. And now, okay. WH question we do. How often do the buses run? Okay. How often, what time does often do? the bookstore open? The do bookstore. and does, right? Is okay. and are for verb to be. WH question with can. Where can I catch the bus? Yes, bus. Can, can. Okay. So okay. in indirect questions, right? In indirect uh -huh. and direct okay. questions, okay. it's because you have to use this expression. Who you tell mm -hmm. me? Uh, Do you know? Can you tell me? Mm -hmm. Do you know? And do you know? So when you when you add these expressions to this question, to this, uh, to these sentences, to this statement, to these questions. So you have a direct questions, right? Where is the nearest yeah. ATM? Could you tell me where yeah. the nearest ATM, nearest ATM is? is? ¿Qué pasa con el verbo? Uh -huh. Look up the verb to be. Look up the verb to be. Mm -hmm. Is it the last? Ajá, is the at the end. Last Ajá, exactly. Exactly. At the end. exactly, right? Uh, for example, yeah, here what happened with do it does? Can you tell me how often the buses run and do? What uh, happened with do it does? Disappear. disappear. Uh -huh. The do and does disappear, right? Do and does disappear. Where can I catch the bus? Do you know where uh -huh. I can catch the bus? What happened with I and can? They changed position, right? Mm -hmm. Can I? Yes. Mm -hmm. Uh -huh. can, where can I catch the bus? Do you know where I can catch the bus, right? So in the pair of the pair to be, you have to use them at the end. In the case of do mm -hmm. and does, they disappear. And when you use can, so you only have to interchange the position of the subject and can, right? So those are underrated mm -hmm. questions. Mm -hmm. Do you have questions? Questions so far? Oh no. It's, no, okay. no it's okay. okay. We are going to move to the platform. Nos vamos a mover rapidito a la plataforma en estos últimos minutos que nos quedan, porque si no ya no ya. Eh, yo siento que esta hora se va volando, así que eh, vamos mm -hmm. a movernos ya a la plataforma. Give me a second. Espera, permíteme. Give me a second, give me a second. Okay, stop sharing. <coughs> Here. Ok, eh, yo sé que uh, por veces en la plataforma a veces eh, salen un montón de preguntas, ¿verdad? Yes. Yes, a lot of questions, right? So, uh, in your case, so you have a, the, I don't know, um, for example, mm -hmm. let me see. In this one, the 2.2, which of the following mm -hmm. option is not a come now? So, uh, creo que este no está difícil, ¿verdad? Not a con it's not countable. Plus, Southern Life, Parking. What is what is not a uh, come now? Well, uh, hmm? South will lie. Huh? Este. South will lie. Mm -hmm. ¿Cuál de los dos? South will lie or parking? Use parking is a site. Mm -hmm. I put South will lie, but. It was correct it... or it was wrong? It was wrong. It was wrong. Okay, so it's uh, parking. No, one parking, two parking, three parking. Okay, it, it depends according with what you refer, right? So you said subway line. Okay. Yes, I choose subway line. Okay, what are or some examples of not come now? Choose three. Which ones are no countables? Water. 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 Okay. Air. Air. Water. Air. Excellent. Very good. Air. Television mm -hmm. is countable or uncountable? Countable. 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 What are some examples of count nouns? Contables. Mm -hmm. Dead. 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 Dead
Good. Good. Uh, now the sugar la podemos medir, ¿verdad? La azúcar la podemos medir y ya medida si sí. sí es contable. One bag of sugar, With two bags of sugar, three mm. bags of sugar. Mm -hmm. When you can use cardinal numbers. One coffee, two coffee, one cup of coffee. One, two cup of coffee, one yeah. package, and so on. Or Why do the buses <laughs> cause too much pollution? Okay. Mm -hmm. Why do the buses cause too much pollution? Uh, Silvia, me ayuda a leer la primera, please. Can you help me to read the first? The buses cause too much pollution. Mm, why? No. For mm -hmm. or the, the option. Uh-huh. Uh, 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 it's only, mm -hmm. only the first option. Only now, the number two. Glenda, can you help me with the number two, please? Mm -hmm. The buses are new, but they are in bad condition. Oh, excellent. Very good. Uh, can you help me with Jennifer and Stephanie with the third option, please? There are too many buses. Okay, what is the correct option? The first. first there are too many buses. Why do the buses cause too much pollution? The third one. You said the third one, okay? Why no, the there... first. Ah, the first. Ah, okay. Mm. Buses cause too much pollution, because, too they much are pollution because they are old. Okay, very good. Now, why is, why is there too much traffic? Because there are too many bicycles, because no. there are too many cars, because there are too many pedestrians. Pedestrians are not many cars. peatones. Uh -huh. yeah, many yes. cars. Many cars. There are too many, many cars. cars. Many cars. Okay, mm -hmm. let's check it out. Vamos a ver cuáles salen bien. Okay. Yes, 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 yes. Ah, uh, Southern line is, is wrong. It's parking, mm -hmm. right? It's parking. Okay, well, déjeme revisar. Sí, Let me check it. Okay. <laughs> yes, you tell me, right? Okay. Oops. Okay, parking. Parking is the correct option, right? Parking is no the correct problem. option. Okay, side one line. So we can say one side one line, two side one lines, three side one lines, and the rest is correct. Okay, do you have okay. more questions about uh, the platform exercises? Mm. Do you have more questions about, let's check it out, the other exercise. Creo que lo de los contables oh. no es muy difícil, ¿verdad? No, it isn't, so. Mm -hmm. este no creo que tenga problemas. Okay, let's check it out this one. Okay, based on the listening activity from the video on 2.7, answer the following questions, right? Uh -huh. This one is about the video 2.7. 2.1, 2.4. This is about this, about this video. It's about this video. Two. Ah, es el, sí, este lo vi, pero es de los mismos. 2.2. Yes, it's about, uh, I want to share with you, permit, permit, the audio, because cuando cambio, como vengo de otro grupo, cuando cambia ustedes, se me quita el audio, no sé por qué se me quita el audio. <laughs> I don't know what's going on there. Okay. Hi, everyone. By the end of this class, you'll be able to ask and answer indirect questions about a city or a new place that you might visit. For example, you'll be able to make the following questions. Could you tell me where the bank is? Do you know where the nearest ATM is? Do you know where the restrooms are? Can you tell me how often the buses run? Do you know where I can catch the bus? Before I begin to explain the grammar involved, what I would like to do is I would like to play an audio program which illustrates how this topic is used. And so what we're going to do at this point is we're going to listen to a conversation and we're going to listen to different questions that are asked about a city. Your task is to listen carefully and I will ask you questions at the Can you hear it? Yes, I do. Audio program. Here we go. Give me a second. It's, it's a lot more polite. Let me present some structure at this time. What we want to do in this class is we want to learn how to change direct questions into indirect questions. And the reason that we want to do this is because it's a lot more polite to use indirect questions. So for example, if I say, where's the bank? It's less polite than if I say, could you tell me where the bank is? And what we're going to learn is we're going to learn some rules that we're going to follow in changing these questions 
from direct to indirect questions. We're going to learn how to do it with the verb to be, and we're also going to learn how to change WH questions with either do or did. Okay, so it's... Now let's try to make sense of this whole concept here. Okay. What we want to do is we want to be able to turn direct questions into indirect questions. And let me propose a formula on how to do this, if you will. So we want to turn the question, where is the bank, into an indirect question. And the way that we'll do that is we will use some kind of polite model verb. So in this case, could you tell me? All right. And then this is going to be followed by a WH word. In this case, it happens to be where, but it could be any other WH word. For example, it could be what time, how often, when, etc. Any kind of WH word is. So in this one, so what you have to remember is that these the and I read questions uh, are are more formal, right? Are more formal than the WH yes. questions, polite. right? Are more formal. And sometimes um this one is like more like like academic writing, or also it's um when you use uh more um more formal English, right? That's it. Okay. okay. So uh, I don't know if you have more questions about the platform. No, no, I don't have at this no, time. Teacher. Okay, so that's good. So uh, everything, so the last exercise here, let me see, because for the time is in this one. So uh, you have to listen that video, the video that you already listened, and you have to answer the questions, right? You have to answer this, the correct option. You have to choose the correct option about, about uh, using the video. And let me see, okay, que tenemos? I don't know if we have more exercises. I haven't checked this part. Now, here we have uh, the lesson number, the lesson number okay. three, right? In the lesson okay. number three, so this one, uh, this one is for the next week. But if you can uh, go ahead, so you can, um, you can take it, right? So uh, okay. uh, this one is according with an audio on section three point one, mm -hmm. according with this three point one, according with this B, is audio, right? It's a video or audio? Let me see. Uh, it's a video. It's a video, video right? So you have okay. to watch the video and then you have to answer this one according with the video, uh, the previous video. You have to complete apartments in this and this and this, which is correct. Mm -hmm. So this one only had four, right? So according with the video, so you have to watch the video and then you have to answer. And um, here you have a comparison with additives. The video, you have the video and you have uh, the exercises. Okay. Mm -hmm. You have to choose uh, the correct about the comparative, but in this case, let me see in the manual. I'm gonna, sh I'm gonna in estos cuatro minutos que me hace que... Okay, what? let me see. Four minutes. <laughs> wow. Okay. How fast, how fast spend time. <laughs> yes, it was fast, right? Just let me to open the book because I, I close it. Okay, give me a second, give me a second. Okay, and then, then we have a, so about intermediate. Okay, here we go. I give a libro. Let me see, tal vez lo, tal vez lo pueden ver. Porque, que, you see the manual? Yes. Uh, okay. Yes, Listen, teacher. Yes. Yes. Okay. Listen. Okay. Page yes. five. Yes, okay, ahorita, ahorita llego. Now here we have so a I, number, uh, the, yeah. that is about the unique number three, yeah. right? It's about the, the yes. time for changing. Okay, yeah, it's about that, that. You spend the number yes. three. Grammar <laughs> focus. And now grammar focus. And comparisons. So you mm -hmm. have a, a, this one, you have a comparisons about, um, for example, you have here, Evaluation with adjectives. So you have to use an adjective, right? The kitchen mm. isn't big enough, right? The mm. adjective is big. Uh, the living room is too small. It's too small, small is too. the adjective, right? And you use these expressions, um. enough and too. Comparisons, comparisons with adjectives, not as cheap as the last apartment. Uh, no, este no es tan, 
barato como el último apartamento. Uh, Aunque sí, tenemos uh, las mismas eh, expresiones, as, cheap, as, eh, esto, uno significa tan y el otro significa uh, eh, como, eh, ¿verdad? As, cheap, uh, as. Tan, no, uh, esto no es tan barato como el último apartamento. It's almost as cheap as the last apartment. Es casi uh, tan uh, barato uh, como uh, el último apartamento. Ah, uh, ok. Ajá. And so you have casi, a... es casi. Ajá, ¿cómo? Mm -hmm. Es casi, ajá, es casi, mm -hmm. yes. ¿Y qué dije yo? <laughs> okay. Casi, sí, casi. Okay, so casi, you have casi. evaluations with nouns. <laughs> There are enough uh, bathrooms. No hay suficientes mm -hmm. dormitorios. Mm -hmm. eh, no hay, ajá, no hay eh, suficiente espacio en el closet. So, singular eh, for plural, right? So, that's it. Right. And the last one, comparison, comparisons with nouns. So you have, uh, it doesn't have as many bedrooms as the last apartment. The, usando aquí, no tienes tan, eh, Tan, as, tantos dormitorios tantos. como el último apartamento. ¿tá? En este caso, en español sería tan, tantos dormitorios, tantos, ¿verdad? Tantos dormitorios sí. como el último apart apartamento. It has just as many bedrooms as the last apartment. Eh, sola, who's Solo justamente tiene eh, many bedrooms as the last apartment. Tantos, mm -hmm. tantos cuartos, tantos dormitorios sí, cuartos, como, el último, no. como el último apartamento. Sí, sí. So this one, um, only you have to identify when you, when you are using for singular or for plural. Okay? Okay. It's, that's not, it's not a big deal. Mm -hmm. So, okay. Uh, the role, no, I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take the, the, the screenshot of, the, of you participating. So, uh, you don't okay. have more questions. So, see you, to, see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Oh. No, no, tomorrow, no. Monday.